The people have given a unique opportunity to our government to take the country on the path of strong development and an all-round prosperity. In the interim budget, we promised to present a detailed roadmap for our pursuit of Vikasit Bharat. In line with the strategy set out in the interim budget, this budget envisages sustained efforts on the following nine priorities for generating ample opportunities for all. Number one, productivity and resilience in agriculture. Number two, employment and skilling. Number three, inclusive human resource development and social justice. Four, manufacturing and services. Five, urban development. Six, energy security. Seven, infrastructure. Eight, innovation, research, and development. And nine, next generation reforms. Subsequent budgets will build on these and add more priorities and actions. A more detailed formulation will be carried out as part of the economic policy framework about which I will speak later in this speech. This budget details some of the specific actions to be initiated in the current year towards fulfillment of these priorities with potential for transformative changes. The budget also covers some of the previously made announcements with intent to strengthen them and step up their implementation for expediting our journey towards the goal of Vikasid Bharat. Priority one, productivity and resilience in agriculture. Transforming agricultural research. Our government will undertake a comprehensive review of the research, agricultural research setup to bring the focus on raising productivity and developing climate resilient varieties. Funding will be provided in challenge mode including to the private sector. Domain experts, both from the government and outside, will oversee the conduct of such research. Release of new varieties. New 109 high-yielding and climate-resilient varieties of 32 field and horticultural crops will be released for cultivation by farmers. Natural farming. In the next two years, one crore farmers across the country will be initiated into natural farming, supported by certification and branding. Implementation will be through scientific institutions and willing gram panchayats. 10,000 need-based bio-input resource centers will be established. Missions for pulses and oil seeds. For achieving self-sufficiency in pulses and oil seeds, we will strengthen their production, storage, and marketing. As announced in the interim budget, a strategy is being put in place to achieve Atmanirbhartha for oil seeds, such as mustard, groundnut, sesame, soybean, and sunflower. Vegetable production and supply chains. Large-scale clusters for vegetable production will be developed closer to major consumption centers. We will promote farmer producer organizations, cooperatives, and startups for vegetable supply chains, including for collection and storage and marketing. Digital public infrastructure for agriculture. Buoyed by the success of the pilot project, our government, in partnership with the states, will facilitate the implementation of the digital public infrastructure in agriculture for coverage of farmers and their lands in three years. During this year, digital crop survey for Karif using the DPI will be taken up in 400 districts. 
the details of six crore farmers and their lands will be brought into the farmer and land registries. Further, the issuance of Jan Samarth based Kisan credit cards will be enabled in five states.